Now let's talk about meeting notes. But first I need to explain something. Routine hasn't been designed as a tool for taking meeting notes. I know it's a bit surprising, but that's true. Now let me explain why. Routine has been designed as a knowledge graph. Basically, if you take a meeting to routine, it's not really a meeting. It's more an event which is connected to a calendar, connected to a date, a time, and the people participating in the event. That's how information gets connected. That's what makes it a meeting. Now, all information is not of the, of the same type. An event is different from a task. A task is different from a page, which I will show you in a second. But it's also different from a contact, a person. So those different types of objects, as we call them, and that's the key point about notes, is that all of those objects can be extended and enriched through notes. Right. It might be a bit abstract at that point, so let me show you to make it very concrete. If you take a task like that one, you can double click to open it and you can see now that you can take private notes. You can use the templates or you can just press enter and start typing. I could have told you that this is the description of the task, but to routine it's completely abstract. It's just notes that have been connected to an object which is of the type task. That's it. Likewise for an event. I've got a meeting, which actually, again, is just an event connected to a calendar, a date, a time, and some people. I can use different templates to take private notes, or I can just press enter and type. I could have told you once again, those are meeting notes, but again, it's not. And finally, you can do the same with people. You can take note on notes on people, but also on pages. If you go to the notes section, you will see that you can access all of your meeting notes but also you can have pages, which pages are basically a way to remember information on the topic of your choice. So it could be for a watch list, it could be for a specific project, it could be for your house, having all the things that you need to do and information which are not basically not actionable. Basically anything you want. So think of pages as um, pages in Notion or uh, the same thing in Apple Notes. You have information that you want to say related to a topic, create a page, give it a title, and just start. That's it. Now let's take an example with this meeting to make it very concrete. I'm going to start fresh by pressing enter, and then I'm going to use the slash command to show you that you can create different types of blocks. I'm going to create a H1, which is a heading for a, a section. So I'm pressing enter, let's see something like topics to discuss. And then I'm going to uh, use markdown shortcuts such as dash space or star space to create a bullet point, topic one, topic two. And then you can do ash space to create another H1 heading, That's something like action items. And then you can do slash to do or slash task or even open square bracket, closing square bracket to create a checkbox. Come back to a branding firm, let's say. And that's it. I've taken a few notes. Now, at that point, you might think, yeah, but it looks very similar to all the notes taking up I've seen uh, uh, in the past. But you would be wrong for three reasons. The first reason is that those notes have been contextually organized. What I mean is that they have been connected to the event, which is connected to a calendar, a date, a time, and some people. So right now it doesn't look like much, but in the future, in routine, you will be able to find back your notes through any of those links. Okay? The second difference is that, again, it doesn't look like much, but you didn't, it didn't, didn't really take a lot of effort to take those notes. If you were to take meeting notes in Google Docs or in Coda or in Apple Notes or Notion, you would need to create a new page, then give it a title, such as who you are meeting with, when, at what time, for what reason, before you can actually take the notes. That's a huge buyer for taking notes because nobody wants to do that. With routine, just open the event in your calendar and start typing, and that's it. The third difference is that this checkbox here, it looks like a regular checkbox you would find in any note-taking app. 
But in routine, it's not a checkbox. It's a full-fledged task. As you can see, you can schedule it. You can postpone it like any other task. But you can also open it to take more notes because that's an object, that's a task. So you can actually extend it with additional information. Or you can create a subtask, which you can further extend with sub sub task if you wanted to. And it never ends. You can always add information to an object which you created in the notes of another object and so on and so forth. And you can see the hierarchy at the top. Okay? But even more, you can actually use natural language. So you could very much say this week. And because I am specifying a week, routine understand that I am postponing the task. So you can see it's been postponed to September 11th, September 17th, which is this week. Likewise, I could say call designer today. And I could also say send presentation and do not, uh, not plan the task. If this one is not planned, meaning that it's always available either in the inbox or in my unplanned sections, as you can see. Okay? <coughs> so you can see that it's really, really easy to not only take notes, but also to plan very, very easily. And likewise, you could create information in people, uh, but also in pages, as I showed you, for your house, uh, if you wanted to. That's it for taking meeting notes and notes in general, even though, again, remember, notes is a general concept in routine. It is not specific to meetings. It's just every object can be extended with notes.